these ruins here. Mongolia. Most of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby. Trinity. of Kiev. How did it come to be all the way out here? on that last transmission. We lost contact with a survey...
<laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <sighs> Are you going on another adventure? Yes. My greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling. I need to take this. to bind this wound. Those leaves should stem the bleeding. Need some kind of bandage. Mushrooms. They're death caps. I should be able to make a poison. something with all this. Should have. Back to camp and try.
No, you listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Lara. Close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again. Runner down. Report in. What's the situation? Over. We found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. Think. like they've retreated. Primary objective is to find a missing survey team. snares in the clearing. away from the facility. This was a coordinated feint. They're trying to spread us out. Huh? I'll check it out. Incoming! We're under attack!
gearing up. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Constantine gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving, giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. Draw it out. Fugitive Prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the False Prophet and his adherents to the ends of the Earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus Mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them.
be cold. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? <sighs> hmm. It's Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. Something up there. Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. 
My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Find those oars. Find out what's up there. wealth with them. It's done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire.
Byzantine brooch. <sighs> the enamel work is beautiful. through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. <laughs> What's going on down there? to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true.
nothing I can do for him now. First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice and pop, I get a kill. I watch the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. I'm not Russian, I'm no clue. I waited with him and watched. One minute he was there and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them. Huh. I'll check it out. I copy. What? more of them arriving. alive to question him, but it cost us three men. I'm guessing the man wants to know what they find out. Constantine expects more from us. Now someone's gonna pay for that mistake. I'm gonna check it out. Be right back. Check it out. She's there! Open fire!
I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it. But I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but... I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. Talk or he'll bleed out. Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. Cut. 
We've got to... Oh, no. No, no, no. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. 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 You don't. No. How could someone like you... Go easy. Go easy. Fear the suffering. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you need it back at the prison right away got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the Divine Source. Oh God, please. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? This thing is 50 years old. All right, let's get it shut. We can't afford to lose any more after that attack. Okay, I got this. You hear that? Damn it. Still having trouble. Wanna give me a hand? Ah. Yeah, sure. Where did this come from? This isn't right. I'll check it out. Got you covered.
Constantine is here. The man who tried to kill me in Syria. He's violent, dangerous, but worse. He appears entirely devoted to his misguided beliefs. I seem to have a habit of running afoul of religious zealots. And I suppose it all goes with the territory. His men on the radio mention a prisoner with information. Could it be one of the natives I've encountered? And if so, what does he know? Trinity will not be kind in their methods. Perhaps I can find him. Find out what he knows. Earning the trust of the locals might prove useful. in that way without being seen. Must be another way. He's gone! Don't shoot. I'm not your enemy. I've infiltrated the ranks of the enemy and learned that they come seeking the rich resources of the mountain. They appear to know nothing of the secret we protect. Those who build the Iron Road are themselves prisoners, slaves of the Red Army. Massive machines now use the Iron Road, bringing more slaves, food, and raw materials for construction of a small city. It is time for me to return to my people so we might plan our attack. If we can inflict heavy losses upon them before they reach the mountain, they may give up and turn back.
We were fools. Careless, arrogant fools. We thought we could stop them, but the Red Army outnumbers us. Their weapons are superior, and they just keep coming. Many of my people, including myself, have been captured, forced to work the mines of our own mountain. It's only a matter of time before they discover our secret. When this happens, we must be ready. to make this out, but it seems to show a map of some sort. We need to get more information out of the prisoner. If Constantine has to do it himself, he's not going to be happy. We'll step up the pressure, but he's clearly had some experience with interrogation techniques before. We think he's the leader of the Remnant. He has to know about the Divine Source. Find his weakness. Get creative. This prisoner. Maybe I can find him.
I hope you received my last tape in good time. I am becoming increasingly fond of recording these messages to you. Anna says that I need time away from my books and papers every so often, if only to remember why I'm doing all this. I know you hate me going away, but it will be worth it one day. It will all be worth it. Sending my love to you. Work hard in school. I know your work was important. It didn't feel like it at the time. Still, it taught me independence. How to look after myself. Important lessons, as it turns out. seems to be pointing to something nearby. Soviet propaganda. Look, I'm on your side here. I've been working as a maintenance tech for Trinity out here, but I've got to get out of here. These people are insane. 
I've been stockpiling gear. It's yours, if you can pay for it. They won't notice a few missing items, but if they catch wind, or if they see me with you, I'm a dead man. I'll need some untraceable currency in case things go south. Gold, preferably. You think we can make a deal? I'll see what I can dig up. It's not nukes. Creepy looking guy with a scarred face named Constantine gave us a big speech, talked about destiny and something called the Source. And frankly, I'm even more baffled. The other contractors seem to be just as antsy and nervous as I am. But the company men, the guys who've been with Trinity for a long time, they're drinking it up and asking for seconds. It's fucking Jonestown out here. We're preparing for an assault. Against who, you might ask? I mean, there's people here, like natives, lost in time. We're talking furs, skins, and iron arrowheads. We're about to go meet them with attack choppers and 50 cal machine guns. I'm on the wrong goddamn side of history. Communications were offline, but everything is now under control. If the situation becomes untenable, we will step in. It won't. You sent me for a reason. I was chosen for this. I will succeed. See that you do. Hey! <gasps> I'm off to you. This is all my fault. Who? Who are they? What did they want? The same thing my father was after. Oh no, Laura. I told you not to do this. Whatever they want, just give it to them. <laughs> it's not that simple. Just hold on. I'll get us out of here. Somehow. That's enough. 
She doesn't know. <laughs> You... No! You're with them! I can't believe this. You... You... Can't. You couldn't let it go, could you? I knew you'd find your way to this place. What did you expect? It doesn't have to be this way. We seek the same thing. We could use someone like you. You want a purpose in your life? We can provide that. You've got to be kidding. I've seen how Trinity operates. Is that a no? It's a no fucking way! Tell me, Anna. Were you recruited by Trinity before or after you started screwing my father? I loved Richard. But he was blinded by idealism, and it destroyed him. What would you do with the artifact? Show it to the world. Redeem your father's good name. You're still so naive. Just a frightened little girl trying to walk in her daddy's shoes. We're done here. No, not yet. You and I, we can still be on the same side of history. Think about it. Over. Bastard! Perhaps that's all he knows how to be. I thought I was alone. So did I, but here we are. So what should I call my new acquaintance? Nothing. I won't be staying. Constantine has little patience. Nor do I. So I see. Nice trick. Can you get us out of here? There's no us. I don't even know who you are or why you're here. Sorry. I'm not feeling particularly trusting right now. You won't get far without me. You don't know how far I've come. What do you know about them? A set. Ancient and secretive. They believe themselves to be doing the work of God. From what I've seen, they're pretty far from holy. What do you plan to do with that? I'll let you know when I think of it. Well, I heard that. All the more reason to get out of here. Is there a way out? No, but I found something that might be useful.
Careful. We don't want to attract attention. Wait. Let me out. I can help you. I can't trust you. We may not be enemies. I can see that. I suspect you do too. I work better alone. I know the layout. I know the land. I'm a fast learner. I have no doubt of that. Maybe I can offer you something more valuable. I know what you're all after. Thank you. I'm Jacob. Lara. Take this. In case we get separated. Guards will be coming through on rounds any moment. Do you know the way out? Yes. I've had some time to study this place. How long were you in that cell? Long enough to learn that Constantine won't stop until he's found what he's looking for. The Divine Source. Is it here? <laughs> Trust must go both ways, Lara. What is this? A history lesson. This place has its own scars. It was a work camp. The Soviets sent prisoners here to work in... I finally laid my betrayals bare. Lara knows the truth. Now a strange series of emotions has gripped me. Remorse, certainly. Remorse for a piece of me that was left inside that torture cell. But something else, too. I know Constantine thinks that I've lost my edge, that my time with the Crofts has made me soft, but he's wrong. It isn't softness. It feels instead like a new kind of resolve. I knew Lord Croft to be an intelligent man. I know his daughter holds secrets in her head. As an ally, she'd be invaluable. As an enemy, she'll be a difficult problem. I must make sure that Constantine's arrogance doesn't get the better of him as we take her on. Mines. Even that wasn't enough. They captured our people. Took children from their mothers to work as slaves. God. It must have been horrible. Anyone who survived those days has stories to tell. look like mining. It looks like an excavation. It's, uh, possible. They dug anywhere they caught a hint of wealth. Those... those are ancient. What did they find? You'll have to ask them. We have to go. We aren't safe here. of escape is to make our way to the old tree. And what then? My village is in the valley on the other side of the mountain. We'll be safe there. Command post 2, last chopper outbound. Roger. Noted last Reports of trouble at the communications depot. More natives. Next, we caught an army visible the outside. Some more. He stirred up trouble on the perimeter. We expect another...
Hold on. Almost got it. That's it. You're good to go. Okay, let's move <laughs> this thing out. Constantine wants a team up at the copper mill before the storm sets in. Anna has let the mask fall. She and I are finally fully reunited. It has been difficult without her these past years. When I'm weak, it's always been her voice that gave me strength. When she loses hope, I ignite that hope for her. That being said, I must confess that I am worried about her. Her health falters, yes, but my concern is with her resolve. I fear that some piece of her was lost in her time with the Crofts. She must have faked her emotions for Lord Croft so powerfully they became real. And now I feel that fear has spilled over to Laura. Jacob, I found a way to open the inner gate. Head to the courtyard. I'm already inside.
Anna. I need to get in there. In hell. Then I have good news. Reconnaissance from the scouts. The natives have a settlement on the other side of the mountain. Soon, you will have your day. We both will. Just as long as you don't lose focus again. What do you mean? You're sentimental about her. The Croft girl, I can tell because she's still alive. We can't afford to dwell on the past. You doubt me? You know what I've given to Trinity, what I've sacrificed, what I face! <coughs> I'm fine. Life has not been kind to either of us, but I swore I'd always protect you. Now who's being sentimental? I promise you. All of this will be worth it in the end with a divine source you will live. But more importantly, you will live in a world cleansed of sin. Send your men to this settlement. Find out what they know. It's too dangerous. Let me have my pleasures. None of this will matter. The day our work is accomplished. Constantine, you're needed in the holding cells. We're in this together, sister. Remember. Always. What are you doing? Mankind shall be judged, the non-believers turned to ash and swept away, and the pure of faith will be raised up and given life eternal. Get out! I'll find you! being in the field again. I was undercover for so long, locked in a life of comfort at Croft Manor. Here there is no comfort at all. The air is frozen, the food is canned and cold. The company, aside from Constantine, is abysmal. But I asked to be here. I need to be here. I do not have the luxury of time or patience. Constantine and I begin this journey together. I will be there when he fulfills his destiny. So for now, I'll breathe deep. I'll let the cold air burn my lungs. I'll let it remind me that I'm still alive. And let it fuel me for the final push towards our destiny. Damn. Got to get out of here. Yeah, that is the control. 
A military patch for Trinity soldiers. Aside from the design, there's no identifying techs. They keep themselves hidden, even from their own foot soldiers. You, Jacob! Lara, be careful. They're everywhere. You'll run into some trouble. There he is! Take him out! Damn it! Shit! Hit the light! Cover me! Can't focus the fire! Crow! I'm taking fire! Got your back! Fire in the hole! <laughs>
As we push deeper into the valley, I feel reassured that this is the work I was chosen to perform. My stigmata itch with sensation. It is a constant reminder of my higher purpose, of my singular position in this higher purpose. I was a child, innocent to the evils of the world. Then, one night, I woke in such pain, a scream on my lips. Blood dripped from my palms when I saw it. I was terrified. It marked me. It meant something. I cannot shirk this mission any more than I can shirk my own hands. Jacob, I think I'm close to the train yard. Are you there? So long. I thought I lost you back there. Not a chance. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Let's move! We can get up through there! What the? Would you have left me? 
I'd have thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think I didn't? <sighs> so what makes you risk so much to come here? The Divine Source. I know what you're looking for. But I want to know why. When I was young, he was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist too. In his last years, he was obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him, including me. Our last conversation was a fight. He... he took his own life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but... Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. It changed everything. I realized my father was right. He died alone and broken. But he died for something. So you believe the Divine Source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, it needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. A difference is not always for the best. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Can't. Or won't. I'll fight Trinity with you, but my goal remains the same. If I give up now... You'd feel like you'd be letting him down. Not just him. I need answers, Jacob. I need to understand. You're leaving. Right now, my concern is for my village. It's over the mountain pass. A day's journey on foot. But there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. I'll be back soon. Jacob, are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Overwatch, we have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange, but almost comforting. 
Like I could tell him anything, and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. At least, for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on.